Strong Family to help stop the genocide in American Ghettos podcast. I'm your host, Emmanuel Barbie. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, share this video podcast, and hit the like button. This video podcast is available in three forms, audio, video, and as a written transcript in order for us to reach our audience. I cite all of my sources on my medium transcript under show and prove. I use this platform to interact with everyone on my friends list and everyone in my social groups by giving black business owners free airtime to promote their products and services. I give people in the faith community an opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and ordinary law buying citizens an opportunity to share their special talents and skills to my listeners from around the globe. After the show, I offer my guest speakers an incentive by teaching them how to create their own podcast and YouTube channel to help them earn extra revenue during COVID-19. I also assist people on my friends list with creating basic websites, finding college scholarships and grants, housing and legal services, all for free. Before we discuss the topic for today, we need your help now more than ever. Our film project, quote, Hood Liberator Made in Chicago, The War Against Willie Lynch Begins, unquote. Our objective is to take the lead in solving black issues in America, starting in Chicago. Strengthen the black family while improving the black community to give black youth the greatest opportunities to, to strive. Since I had little to no support, I decided to turn to social media to recruit brave and smart black people and African people to come forth and work with me in turning my vision and plan into a reality, which gave rise to the grassroots community activist movement. After 15 years of being overlooked and rejected, I decided to write and publish my story, quote, The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America, Second Edition. In, in my book, I explain why, I explain what I experienced when I did street ministry. My experience, both good and bad, have led me to take control of my life, and now I want to share my wisdom with my group members worldwide. I used to pass out um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and cheese sandwiches to homeless individuals, um, that was just a feel-good thing for me. I was helping someone, but my inner voice told me that that was just putting a band-aid on an open wound. My creator, Jesus slash Yahshua, has given me a vision on how to solve black issues in America, not by putting a band-aid on an open wound, but rather applying stitches to, the, to an open wound. Later, I was blessed to connect with Sister Renee. I have been on Facebook for 17 years. Hackers are forever shutting down my page. This is my third Facebook page. I created my virtual store in order to raise funds so that I could move my virtual Christian socialist organization from behind a computer into the black community. Yet, my items are st still barely selling. This is spiritual warfare at its best. I don't have another 30 years to waste on people who just don't care about black our black youth. This is why I am taking my story to the big screen in order to reach the black masses. This is my last attempt to try to do something positive for my racial group in America. Become one of our grassroots donors by selecting an amount below. This is our campaign, so let's get it done. Your contributions through our PayPal page will benefit our film project. Um, we're looking for if you're able to um, donate $5, $20, $50, $100, $500, or $1,000. Whichever one you're able to um, donate towards us, toward this um, film project, we will appreciate that. So far, we have raised $900. Our goal is to raise $500,000 so that I can hire 
black a black production company and quality quality black actors. The proceeds from the film will put me in a better position financially so that I can hire black middle class professionals who will make sure that the kind of Chicago will be effective and successful for years to come. I will turn over the business to qualify um people who understand the bigger picture before I cut and run to Africa. The Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago will offer financial literacy classes which will improve our members um um station in life and change the outlook of their immediate families. Our goal is to help turn our members life life goals into reality by promoting black economic empowerment which will help break the cycle of poverty, achieve home ownership and build generational wealth. We will offer stipends for black youth who act in our films and stage plays. Our goal is to make Chicago a model city in America. a one-stop multi-purpose facility for African American families um black families and provide a safe place within the black community we will offer cooperative housing services cooperative healthcare services and cooperative grocery store on the premises the kind of chicago will raise the bar in black america since no one wanted to work with me when i was small time this organization will be membership base none of my members would never have to endure such humiliation and rejection just for trying to do something positive in the black community like i did as long as a person is an active member we will work with them and their family for life we will separate ourselves from hardened criminals urban terrorists active gang members and pedophiles within the black community Once we have our own place of business, everyone must attend our mandatory orientation, pass our criminal background check, and submit their thumbprint in our database so that we can keep tabs on who's doing what within the organization. Um, no free do, no free loaders allowed. Everyone must contribute something. In time, we will offer a second chance program for ex-offenders. of non-violent crimes and former gang members. Non-black sympathizers are also welcome to join us, but it's black people's responsibility to build it and to own it. This organization is based on my experience. This is not just business. This is personal. We will declare war on this Willie Lynch mentality within black society. 30 years I've been fighting for our black youth in Chicago and beyond. I never lost faith that one day God would connect me with other like-minded black people, African people and others who will work with me and Sister Renee in building a brighter future for our children who are trapped in American ghettos started in Chicago. Together we can solve black issues in America and throughout the diaspora. I'm calling on all of my Christian group members in Light of the World Inspirational Group and Christian Spoken Word Network. to please pray that God would connect me with people who have the means to support our film project in Jesus Yahshua's name pray that my revised book would get on the best sellers list in Jesus Yahshua's name pray that the spirit of God would allow our Christian business to make a real impact and meet the need of our young black youth in Chicago in Jesus Yahshua's name if you got any value from our content this year please consider supporting our film project in three ways they are as follows through our virtual store we provide merchandise such as covid mask coffee mugs posters hand handbag and t-shirts all proceeds will go towards our film project two through our paypal page the kai of chicago is a faith-based community advocacy organization. Our mission is to eradicate urban violence in Chicago through arts, culture, commerce, and spiritual development. Donations can be used as a tax write-off for US citizens because this is a legitimate 501c3 not-for-profit organization. 3. You can 
Also support our film project by purchasing my revised book, quote, The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America, Second Edition, which is available on my Amazon author page. I provide each website on my Medium transcript under show and prove. You can also find each website on my YouTube channel under about. If you are unable to participate on the show, no worries. After the show, I upload my video podcast on my YouTube page and on my Anchor page. When you have a moment, please watch my latest video podcast. Leave a public comment in the comment sections on my YouTube page and on my Facebook page about the topic. Please share my information with your friends. This will help get the ball rolling. This video podcast attempts to present relevant information and use critical thinking analysis from a spiritual perspective of what's happening in black America to form a more just society starting in America and throughout the African diaspora from news, social issues, cultural issues, and political issues. Our objective is to serve the hungry, the voiceless, and the powerless black people who are considered, quote, the least of these by society standards. For KM Media is dedicated to informing and, and inspiring black people to live life to the fullest. This video podcast uses social media, webinars, teaching, and lectures to accomplish our goals of informing and inspiring our listeners from around the globe. The goal of the grassroots community activist movement is to provide solutions and strategies to solve black issues domestically and internationally. Our black media component helps stop the genocide in the American ghetto slash the new black voices of media is an extension of GRCAM. On our YouTube channel, we plan to provide travel, video podcasts, interviews, and guests contributors on the show. We're committed to reporting truthful and accurate news. We're dedicated to bringing stories and spark conversations and topics that are controversial. We believe our viewing audience guides the direction of our platform. Today's topic, family affair, connecting the African diaspora and continental Africans. Second topic, the 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 Omicron variant and Chinese takeover Uganda's airport. The first topic, family affair connecting the African diaspora and continental Africans. Before we can discuss launching African tours, which when the business is up and running, our first line of business is to speak out against criminal behavior in the black community. Black America is in shambles. Even black suburbs are written with crime, wretchedness, and toxic behavior. Across the United States, we have seen an increase of robberies in broad daylight. The perpetrators are black. I'm calling the black community out if we don't address the things we're doing to each other and others. It's our fault that we're not creating black institutions to teach black parents the skills to raise their children. This is one of the things I've been trying to do for the past 30 years. Now things are going to get worse for black people because we're not in the age We're now in the age of consequences. The Pookie and Ray Rays are making it hard for us to live in America and these off-code Negroes. Just because someone talks black does not mean they are serious about the the liberation struggle. 80% of black people in the black community are attention addicts, con artists, and hustlers. They are not trying to build anything productive for the next generation. All GRCAM members can do is try to make this world a better place for our future leaders. It's not my burden alone. It takes a team to make a dream work. We spend a lot of time on social media talking about white supremacy, but we rarely talk about how we're going to solve the issues in the black community. 
We cannot raise the awareness of our people until we address fixing the issues within black society. I'm tired of seeing young black people thinking it's cool to be a criminal, stealing and killing to make a name for themselves. As I stated in my revised book, black criminals are the real sellouts to the black community. We have a parental problem. Black parents have stopped raising their children and they end up being victims to the streets. Look on my medium transcript under show and prove for videos about Chicago police beef up staffing after weekend violence and mob of looters targeting Bay Area retailers for three days. I want the global African family to see what I have been trying to do for my people in America. I do not want to go through the same foolishness I'm experiencing in America for trying to do something to solve the problem. In contrast, Africa is the richest continent on the globe, and yet it is home to the poorest people in the world. The question is why? The answer is because of um, colonization. Our next film will be made in South Africa, and the name of the film is entitled African Liberator, Battle Against Colonized Mindset. In the film, we will look at how Native Africans have internalized European culture as being superior to African culture, and how the members of the financial elites, which is the oppressive class, are the ones who invaded, colonized Africa, and enslaved Africans in the New World. The financial elites accumulated their wealth by stealing and killing African people. Brukai of Africa will mobilize African people and black people towards a vision of transformation and deliver the transformation that our continent urgently needs. The vision is to build a bridge between Africa and the diaspora. Building this bridge is the key to a much deeper mission. It's my hope that the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Africa would launch international trade among the diaspora and vice versa. We would encourage our brothers and sisters around the globe to come visit our ancestral homeland as well as invest in our African-owned companies such as hotels, travel companies, and mine, diamond mine industries and assist in building up the infrastructure for Africa's development. Our objective is to prepare the diaspora for traveling, living, and doing business in Africa. We will connect African entrepreneurs with black entrepreneurs to build a sustainable Africa. We want to create a vibrant Africa with a mix of culture, nightlife, shopping, networking, business, investment opportunities, and spiritual development. Once I come to Africa, the CAM will become Global Kemet, which means the black land. Just like Jesus who turned the world upside down in Acts um, chapter 17 verse 7, and these all and these all do contrary to the decree of Caesar saying that there is another king, one Jesus. I was born into, I was born to turn the world upside down and to disrupt unjust and ungodly systems and create a new system which will be kingdom based. Both Gurkai of Chicago and Gurkai of Africa will be prophetic businesses where we can galvanize real Christians to get up and take their positions in this wicked and evil world. This is why it's been taking me so long to get this Christian business up and running because this is spiritual warfare at its best. I use my video podcasts, Anchor and YouTube are to educate our secular um, people, secular members and mature Christians, preparing them for creating a kingdom society. I am one of the voices of the city of Chicago that is sent to transform Chicago into a pathetic city. 
I plan on traveling to 10 African nations, setting up local chapters and teaching the real, the real Jesus and his kingdom. I am the one that has come to turn the world upside down to. Acts chapter 17 verse 6. These men who have turned the world upside down have come to your city. To disrupt it, to shake it, to awaken it, to awaken you, shift you, and shaken you. Gurkham is here to unite African people and black people. The Holy Scriptures tell us any house that is divided or anything, anything kingdoms that is divided cannot stand. According to Matthew chapter, chapter 12 verse 25, knowing, knowing their thoughts, he told them, Every every kingdom divided against itself is headed for destruction, and no city or house divided against itself will stand. We can not build together if we don't work together. I am using this platform to unify our global African family. My question to black people worldwide, how long will we continue to be victims of the same propaganda that was responsible for the fall of our African kingdoms. The only way for our black businesses um, to to be successful is for is is if we stop patronizing non-black businesses that do not support us. There are in our neighborhoods to drain our resources away from us. That's the downside of social integration. But our Grandparents got caught up instead for pushing, instead of pushing for black economic empowerment. Gurkham promotes unity among African people and black people. We are one human family. Our Caribbean and Brazilian brothers and sisters were taken out of Africa and was enslaved in Western nations, just like us that were enslaved in North America. We were all victimized by European oppressors, which are today the financial elites. If we are all serious about the liberation of African people and black people, then we should work together across ideological lines to turn my vision and plan into a reality. My second topic, the Omicron variant. First, it was the Delta variant. Now it's Omicron variant. I predict every year there will be a new variant. These scientists put a big emphasis on getting the jab. Now they're talking about a new variant. The tourist industry in South Africa has been hit hard due to the travel ban. South Africa had discovered this new variant, which most likely came from European tourists. The Biden administration had a travel ban on eight African nations and not a peak from black politicians. When Trump did a travel ban on China, the media said he was being racist. See, the double, st- the double standard. The Biden administration said if you are departing from any of the eight African countries, you have to get tested 24 hours before you can return back to the United States, even if you had the jab. When, when you do return, you have to be quarantined for seven days. A lot of these African nations did not go along with the COVID-19 protocol. Now, it seems like they are being punished economically. I believe this is to discourage black people from traveling to Africa. Yet, no black politician is calling out the Biden administration. Why the Biden administration didn't put a travel ban from Europe? If the Omicron variant is just in South Africa, then why are they targeting seven African countries? What about these illegal immigrants who are crossing the borders and are unvaccinated? All of the Democrats care about is Stacey Abrams running for governor in Georgia. Some black people are cool with this situation so that we can go, so that we can get back to singing Kumbaya and we shall overcome someday just staying close to Massa. The third topic, Chinese 
take over Uganda airport. The president of Uganda, Mosolani, is getting pushback from his citizens for not repaying back the loans. These Chinese contracts, they have in writing that if a country cannot repay a loan, then that country must use their airports or ports as collateral. The bigger question is all these African countries are heavily in debt by overborrowing as we see a global recession coming about. We have inflation in America as the dollar is getting weaker. America is becoming a banana republic. These politicians are using COVID-19 to take over people's civil liberties. And that's unfortunate. But again, we are in the era of consequences. So, um, I, I'm doing the best that I can to, you know, uh, get this organization up and running here in America first, generate capital from this business. So that way, when I come to Africa, I don't have to explain who I am. My work will speak for itself. Um, we're going to be, um, doing a reality show to it as well. Uh, when we come to Africa, so that way that can help, you know, uh, spread the word about um, this organization, Grakai of Africa. We want to put that on the map, get that popping. Um, but again, um, you know, this COVID-19, is just, it's just real. All this stuff is just bad timing. Again, this stuff, this organization should have been up and running uh, 30 years ago. But again, people just... You know, I mean, our people was just, you know, about themselves. And it said that in the Bible as well, too, in the um, book of Timothy, second book of Timothy, about the, in the last days, people are going to be lovers of selves. So, um, yeah, that's that um, narcissist, you know, um, mentality. It's also uh, what I wrote in my revised book, um, that uh, a lot of black Americans have become uh, Americanized. So basically, that's what that that's what this is about, and um, you know, like I say, once I start making money from this organization, you know, once it's up and running and all that stuff, everybody's gonna, you know, want to be a part of it. But there ain't nothing changing. You know, I still want people to read. I'm encouraging everyone that's listening, especially uh, Gracam members, please uh, purchase that ebook. It's, I have it on. Um, Amazon for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Also have the soft cover book for fifteen dollars plus shipping and handling. But please read that book so that way you all know what what um you're getting yourself into. I'm not here to run game. I'm here to you know try to solve uh, problems. Uh, Jesus already died on the cross, so he's not going to come back and die again. You know that's not happening. That's the whole reason why he gave us power. You know we. But we have to be in agreement. So that's how come, you know, I've been doing my best to try to find other like-minded individuals like me and Sister Renee. I wish I could, the Lord would uh, connect me with more people like Sister Renee to work with us. But um, I'm just doing the best that I can while I can and trying to use this technology to the best of my ability. I'm not on here playing games. I don't have time for people that want to come up here with that drama. We nip that in the bud. So... Um, with that being said, I will open up the phone lines and, uh, let people, you know, um, express themselves, but just, you know, stay focused on the topics. That's all I'm asking. Um, and be safe out there, you know, it's sad that, you know, a lot of our youth is just, you know, doing the most out here, you know, it's just real sad. It's really, it's just not cool at all. Anyhow, the phone lines are now open.